there's something about holding a physical book. There's something about being able to leaf through its pages. And the experience of browsing a bookstore is so different from the experience of browsing a website. Bookstores are more than just stores, economically and also for community. You get to keep the money in the neighborhood, so the money that's coming in here is actually going towards programming for your kids or to give out books to schools around here. We've had a lot of community talks and meetings and programming focused around different neighborhood issues. It's not necessarily around books. It's around the visual arts and music. It's around social issues, even immediate issues that hit the community. Bookstores are kind of clinging by their fingernails. More than half of all book sales happen online now. It's not going to be that all of those book sales are just going to happen online and everything's going to be okay. Because if you have thousands of advocates for the importance of books disappearing from their communities, those communities will read less. I started bookshop.org because I wanted those small businesses to be able to be more competitive and have the migration of consumer habits not be an existential threat for them. We are a benefit corporation, which means that we are doing business for the public good. And the public good is more important to us than profits. It's super easy for you to order a book online, get it delivered in three days, and have the profit from that sale go to your local bookstore. We do all the work, we do all the fulfillment, we'll get you the book, and we give that bookstore all the profits. We just had no idea what was gonna happen. It was right before the Omicron and Delta variants. We didn't know if anyone was gonna keep showing up. And just having something like Bookshop, having those online sales come through, it made me be like, okay, well, we can pay for rent this month. We can maybe pay for rent next month and figure out how to build our community larger outside of New York. What you hear about Silicon Valley culture is it's about disrupting an industry. We're gonna take these dinosaurs, we're gonna use new tools, new technologies, we're gonna pull the rug out from underneath them and take that business. What if we like the dinosaurs? The stores for us are wonderful. What if we use the same tools that some might use to disrupt an industry to actually reinforce it? Someone can find my bookshop link either on our website, on our social, and once they go there, I have a storefront. It focuses on the stories that I have on the shelves in the store, and I've had a lot of calls telling me how easy and seamless the process is and how fast the books have arrived to them. What really gets me through the day is the thank you notes. We got so many messages, cards, gifts from stores that are just like, we would not have made it through the pandemic if Bookshop hadn't come along. And that kind of stuff is so incredibly meaningful. I know a lot of people have the same memories and love of bookstores that I do. Bookstores are run by some of the best people I've met in my life, and we can help them. That's all what kind of keeps me excited about the future. Thank you.